Hey, Lloyd Boston here. I'm spending one full year on the inside of a cool brand, and I'm taking you with me. Now, you know me as a fashion insider, so I'm going to show you how a brand is really built from behind the scenes. I'm going to track a cool clothing label called Moods of Norway, every step from the runway to real life. All right, you with me? Who's with me? Click follow. Let's go. My name is uh, Simon Stolnaki. I am uh, the co-founder and designer of the magical brand Moods of Norway. <laughs> Moods of Norway started out as a, like an after-party ID uh, in Hawaii when I was going to school there. And we saw that uh, there's no brands coming from Norway, no clothing brands. And we thought that our country was so beautiful and there's so many stories and so much inspiration to get out of Norway. And since I've always been, dis always been really interested in uh, drawing, painting, and my mom's been a designer for a very long time. So then, I, uh, then we came up with the idea and let's just start, to make, let's start our own brand. Let's, uh, let's get our first job be our job. And then uh, I emailed my mom and mom, uh, do you, know, you know the steps from an ID to a finished product. Could you help us out a little bit? And she said, yeah, of course, I'll be happy to. And then we started planning the whole concept. So like, we came up with the idea of moods of Norway, whereas it's different clothes for different moods because people dress accordingly to how they feel and what they're doing. And so then you can cater to um, the different situations or a mood a person is in throughout the day or throughout a week or throughout a year. And then we also came up with the idea that we should emphasize Norway and make that our, our, uh, our kind of claim to fame. And since we're from, a, I'm from a city in Norway, Struen, which is, has about 6,000 uh, people living in it. So it's a very fairly small town. It's not uh, New York, it's not Milan, it's not uh, London. So we thought that was a great idea. So then we drew up our first collection of about 24 pieces. And we came to learn that we drew everything from t-shirts to shirts to pants to vests to cocktail suits, uh, suit jackets. So it's an enormous, that's a really big task to take on uh, for one uh, starting collection. Whereas a lot of brands just start out as a t-shirt brand, a shirt brand, a suit brand. But we started with everything <laughs> in our first season. So we drew up, uh, I think it was 24 different designs. And then we got some uh, good pointers from my mom and some factories that uh, maybe could produce this. And then we took our design and our... Um, uh, sketches down to the factories and try to convince them that we were on to something really huge here, <laughs> but they just have to, all they have to do was make 24 pieces for us. That must be hard because factories have minimums that uh, they require of anybody who's coming in to manufacture. How did you get around those minimums? Yeah, that's the thing. If we knew how hard it would be to start your own clothing company, we would probably n never in a million years have dared to do it because uh, there's so many. You meet so much so many problems just of being an entrepreneur uh, getting uh, money we, we took our piggy banks and we broke them all and we gathered all the little uh, money we had and uh, enabled to um, pay for the uh, production of these, these these clothes and a lot of these factories have really big minimums and they also want to they want you to have a big order on the first delivery uh, but we didn't have any customers we had a somewhat uh, a great plan and some designs so then you really have to convince them it's kind of going on a date. You have to, you know, come and say, this is going to be something really, really big in the future. So if you want to be on the ride, it would be cool if you make this. We just need a few seasons to get it up uh, on marching speed. It's so fun to work on, uh, you start from an ID to the sketch, and then you see the physical product. And now being the, um, the technology, <laughs> the technology these days makes you, you know, you could actually have a, a, a drawing that looks 98% uh, like the product. So that is much easier for us to mix and match and see the overall collection. Is this the, this is what we want to be portrayed for the next season. Is this uh, the direction we're going to go? Uh, I really love this jacket. Uh, it's uh, very, po this, um, this jacket is, this is the autumn collection. And this has a lot of the color schemes that we wanted to work with. And then we put everything together in one jacket. I think that really, really works well because this jacket can be uh, worn. Um, well, it's a happy jacket, of course, but I think it, it, it does a really good job. It's, it's quite uh, energetic and um, flamboyant, but it's, it's still on that border, on that border where it's, uh, I think a lot of people could probably wear it uh, if, they, if they dare to. Hey, you can follow my journey on yearinabrand.com.